Another concern, the homeless. The mayor says the Portland Fire Bureau is actually using vans to help get people to all the mini shelters yeah. that are open. The Portland building, for example, next to City Hall is open right now 24-7 as an emergency shelter and nobody will be turned away. And we know that some people will remain out in the elements, which is why first responders are keeping a close eye on them. So our Cole Miller tagged along with the fire crew tonight to get an up close look at what they're doing to help out. He joins us live from downtown Portland. Cole. Well, Jeff, Jennifer, good evening. With more freezing temperatures come more challenges. And while the city wishes it could get everyone indoors, that is simply easier said than done. Basically, what we're looking for uh, are folks that either are out in the cold that would like to go into a shelter or they're out in the cold and they don't have enough resources to keep themselves warm. Tonight, more crippling cold as Portland Fire patrols the city streets during this brutal winter. This has definitely been uh, the worst one that we've had in, in the last number of years. And Senior Fire Inspector Paul Jennings says more often than not, those he runs into don't want to come in for the night. That's even after hypothermia has claimed the lives of four homeless people. You know, anytime we find that there was someone that we um, weren't able to reach, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a disappointment for us. From downtown, the drive to North Portland and Forgotten Realms, a homeless camp by Legacy Emanuel. Hey, fire department. Just a few people here tonight. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to get you some blankets and, a, and a, I might even have a coat for you. You need a coat. You're, listen, if you need to go to a shelter tonight, you know, we, we get you into a shelter. I mean, it's cold. That woman refusing shelter, so Jennings goes to grab her a few things. She needs a couple pair of socks, too. There you go. There's some socks. Thank you. And I'll try to come back a little bit later on just to check on you again. And so far, two vans just like this one. With crews have been out checking in on folks, and they'll continue to do so, trying to get to as many as they can. It's not easy, no matter how you look at it. And Jennings tells me one of the biggest reasons that folks don't seek shelter is because they don't want to leave their belongings behind. But he says arrangements can be made so that they can take them with them. Also, if you know anyone outside tonight who may need a warm place to stay, you're urged to dial 211. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Cole Miller. Coin six news. Those firefighters and the other volunteers who've been checking on the homeless, frankly, are heroes, yeah. in my opinion. It's a wonderful job that they're doing. Thank you for highlighting them, Cole.